1. The diagram on the right shows the vector u and vector v. Draw and label resultant vector for each of the following. So we see here u here is from here up to here. So there is four box. So just remember we have you can put it in term of i and j. So i is x direction, j is for y. So here u is going for to the right. So you see here u is actually 4i plus 0j because there is no uh, movement in y and only 4. So this one for x direction just like the normal coordinate when going to the right is positive going to the left is negative. So going to the right is positive. So this one is actually 4i. So here for v here you see here it's going this way right so but actually it's going 1, 2, 3, 3 to the right or we can say 3i and 3 up here. So this one is 3j. So v is equal to 3i plus 3j. Okay. So here draw and label the resultant vector for each of the following. So here 2u plus v. So we know that u is 4i right. So, 2u is equal to 2 times 4i which is equal to 8i. So, v is just v which is 3i plus 3j. So, here 2u plus v. So, 2u first. So, this one is 2u. So, this one must be 8 box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So, this one is 2u. And now, we have v. v is 3i plus 3j. So, from this one. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, this one is V. So, this one is 2U, this one is V. So, the resultant vector, you see here moving from here up to here. So, which is this one. And this one is what we call as 2U plus. So, now for B, half V plus 2U. So, half V, so this one is our V, right? So, half V is equal to half 3i plus 3j. So, here we get 3 over 2i plus 3 over 2j. So, 3 over 2 is actually 1.5i plus 1.5j. Okay. So, 2u, u is 4i, right? So, 2u is equal to 2 times 4i which is equal to 8i. So, first this one is... 1.5, 1.5 for V, right? So, this one, 1.5, this one is X and... So, this one is 1.5. So, basically, so 1.5. So, this one is actually 1.5. So, this one, you have the value of... This one is your half V. Okay. So, now, this one is... You see here, this one is 2U is 8I. So, after this... 8 box. So, this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Supposed to be 8 box. So, this one supposed to be 8 box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this one is 2U. So, this one is 2U. So, this one from the first to the last, this one is what we call as half V plus 2U. Okay. C U minus 2 V which is equal to so U here is for I. So this one negative is actually opposite direction. Or oh, this one we can arrange it as negative to V. So this one is plus, right? So after U, we do negative to V. So 2V is equal to 2V is 3I plus 3J. So here we get 6I plus 6J. Right? So negative 2V means the other way around. Or negative 6I minus 6J. So here negative 6 so, negative direction of x, negative direction of z. So, negative x, negative z, negative y is going this direction. 6 and 6. So, first, this one is u, right? So, u is for i. 
so for i 1 2 3 4 so this one is actually u and now we see here negative 6 negative 6 so going down and left so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so basically this one is in the x direction and in the y direction also 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this one is actually our this one is 2v negative 2v because opposite direction so the resultant is this one see here so this one going to this one is actually this one so this one is what we call as this one is u minus 2v Okay, so lastly, 2u minus 3 over 2v. So this one. So 2u, we know that this one is 2 for i. So here we get 8i. So negative 3 over 2v. So we can do 3 over 2v first. Or you can directly write negative 3 over 2v. So negative 3 over 2v is 3i plus 3j. So here we get negative 9 over 2i minus 9 over 2j. Or negative 4.5i minus 4.5j. Okay. So, here you see here this one is u. So, this one is positive, right? So, this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 box. Supposed to be 8 box. This one is 2u. So, this one you see here negative 4.5, negative 4.5. So, negative x and negative y means... Negative y is going down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.5. And x also to the left since it is negative, 1, 2, 3, 4 and another half. So this one is actually negative 3 over 2 v. So this one is u and this one is v. So you see this one is going this way and this one is going this way. So the resultant vector connecting these two is this one. So this one is what we call as 2u minus 3 over 2v. The P represent the velocity of 70 km per hour to the south and vector Q represent velocity to the east. Find the direction and magnitude of the resultant force P plus Q. So we see here south. So here we have no south, west, is right so we see here just change the color first so p represent the velocity 70 km per hour to the south so it's going to the south here with velocity of 70 km per hour so this one is a vector p so this one is vector p and vector q represent the velocity to the east so this one is vector Q, so this one is vector Q, where this one is 80 km per hour. Find direction and magnitude of the resultant vector P plus Q. So we see here P is going down which is 70 km per hour. And then Q is going to this way which is 80 km per hour. So P plus Q is actually a combination of P plus Q. So we see here if P is going down, here this one is P. So we can combine Q after P which is here. See here this one is Q. So this one is actually vector Q here. This one is vector P here. Okay. Where the resultant vector is from P to Q which is this one. See? So from here magnitude, you can see that magnitude is actually the hypotenuse of this one. So hypotenuse formula is, so you see here square root of P square plus Q square, the magnitude. So P is 70 square plus 80 square. So here we get 106.30 kilometer per hour. So we see here, we need to have direction. So this one is theta. Okay. So the direction we are using bearing. 
So what bearing is? So we see a bearing. We calculate the angle from this one is zero. So this one is three hundred sixty degree from zero up to three hundred sixty degree. So this one is our theta. So the angle that we wanted to find is this one, which is theta one. You see here, this is what we wanted to find. So we have to find theta first. So first we have to find what is our theta. Then we need to find what is our theta one. Okay, so I just draw it back here. So this one is our theta. So this one is 70 and this one is 80, right? So this one is our P, this one is our Q. So we know that magnitude is equal to 106.30 kilometer per hour. So, to find theta, we can use tangent, right? Just use the Pythagoras theorem. So, tangent theta, tangent is equal to, so don't forget the formula. So, jah dua. Tangent is actually opposite divided by adjacent. So, this one is theta. So, opposite of theta is 80. So, opposite divided by adjacent. Adjacent is just next to the angle which is 70. We don't take the hypotenuse. So, tangent theta is equal to 80 divided by 70. So, just use your calculator. Theta is equal to tangent inverse 8 over 7. I just make it smaller. So 80 over 70. We can divide to get 8 over 7. So, here we get 48.81 degree. So, this is uh, the theta. But we know that the resultant vector. So, the angle that we need to find here is the bearing one which is calculated from this one so this one is north so this one starting from here this one is zero up to this one is 360 degree so we know if this one is here so this one is up to this line where this one plus this theta is 180 degree right so theta one here is equal to 180 degree minus theta which is equal to 180 minus 48.81 degree so here we get 131.19 degree